Good evening, everyone. All of us have joined here just to celebrate of uh, our harvest, Pinia Indicus, Indian White Shrimp. We are in Utukur, Nellore, Andhra Pradesh. One of our farmer, Dr. Mr. Krishna Reddy, uh, who has uh, started or initiated to farm new species Indicus along with Vanami. I am sure he will give his experience, but from his harvest, what we learnt is, in 93 days of farming, he has been able to have 20 gram plus harvest uniform size of Indicus uh, at stocking density of somewhere around 23 to 24 species per square meter. Uh, Indicus farming in India Today we have been talking as an alternative to Banami. It is not a new species we are talking of. If we just recall, maybe go back about 30 years back, when we were starting shrimp farming in India, we had only two species with us, Monodon and Indicus. Of course, Monodon farming took up maybe uh, many farmers able to take up monodon farming because of availability of seed in plenty. So all those hatcheries which were established those days, everybody started producing monodon. Indicus, yes, here and there some farming was there that was mainly from the collected stock from the nature. But after Vanami went introduced in the country, all of us know how Vanami replaced uh, not only Indicus, but also Monodon. Now each one of us have been seeing the issues of shrimp farming when you talk of today. One is disease problem since 1996 onwards with WSSB, then EHP, then several other problems. All of our farmers have been experiencing this issue over the year. They, some of them losing so much of money also. If you see again, some of our farmers have stopped farming, telling that they are not making money, rather they are losing money. So we thought at this point of time, we should have some alternative species. We, when we talk of alternative species, it is not only stream, yes, alternative stream species like Indicus, but also pin pieces like sea bass or milkfish or uh, mullets and atroplus and so and so forth. But when you, those who are shrimp farmers, probably it is very difficult to motivate them shrimp to pin fish. So they should have some options other than banami. And everybody today realize, those who are in the shrimp farming, all of you realize that Indicus is a potential species. And from the experience of uh, Mr. Krishna uh, Reddy ji, we could know that even in spite of the fact that all around his farm, there are issues of some disease, but he did not face any problem of disease. Whether the disease will be there or not there tomorrow, but at this point of time, definitely we can consider it is one of the potential species. And if 20 gram we are able to achieve in 90 days, I'm sure it will, I don't say that it will totally replace Banami at one day, one year, two years, or three years, but definitely can an alternative species for the farmers to think. Only thing at this point of time for us to ensure the quality seed of Indicus so that the farmers who want to diversify, they should get the quality seed. We know for any hatchery, you need a brood stock. So getting a quality broodstock, disease-free broodstock is an issue. I'm sure Siva, under the leadership of Dr. Kuldeep K. Lal, director, and uh, Dr. Dr. Panigrahi, who is the lead scientist working on this, will be working, discussing with the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying, Government of India, CA, NFDB, NAKSA, MPEDA, all those stakeholders they will have discussion and uh, come out with a strategy how more and more hatchery also initiate seed production and supply, ensure supplying 
quality seed to the farmers. And uh, for uh, uh, friends, I would like to inform you, with the support of Government of India, PMSSY program, we have uh, recently given uh, responsibility, rather I would say, to produce quality broodstock, a, some sort of a uh, system nucleus breeding center we are initiating on Indicus. I am sure in two years of time, the nucleus breeding center will be in place at Chennai Siba. And gradually we will see that uh, broodstock multiplication centers are also created. And this cannot be possible with only institute like SIVA alone. We need to have stakeholders involvement, the commercial hatcheries, they need to come forward. We are ready to talk with each one of them. The organization like SAP, we understand the mem all the members of SAP are the big entrepreneurs in the field having wide experience and knowledge. So in coming days, we sincerely believe there will be convergence happening between the government departments. Convergence will happen between the government department and the NGOs, uh, non-governmental organizations, societies like SAP, and the entrepreneurial farmers. So I, I am optimist. I sincerely believe that in coming days, this will be definitely a candidate species uh, for farming in the coastal waters, not only coastal waters, or also inland uh, areas where there you have inland saline uh, areas. Thank you very much.